speaking of rivalry games, another Friday night game, North Carolina at NC State, and the Wolfpack are six-point favorites at home, total of 62.5. And, And of course, this does mean quite a bit for the Wolfpack uh, because Dave Doran and Bunch will head to the ACC title game if they win this and they can somehow get Wake Forest to lose on the road at Boston College, which is not a crazy proposition. Uh, You look at the numbers on these two teams and... And it, it so so I don't know this right I don't know if Sam Howell is going to play in this game, and if I'm Sam he Howell, did, he didn't last week, correct? Yeah, he did not play last week. And so and it's at NC State. It's at NC I State. Doubt that he's yeah, I doubt he's playing. And so it, regardless of what's going on, I'm curious about even if he does play, does he play not to get hurt because he knows he's going to the NFL? I mean, I, I, that's a crazy thing to think about now, but. I mean, that's the way college football is, right? Like, at least these days, modern college football, you got to look out for yourself, I guess. It's a business decision. I don't, I don't begrudge him that at all. And I mean, I, you know, if you want to start, you want to start keeping score, you know, Mac Brown hasn't put the pieces around him to set him up for success. Why is he going to sacrifice the body on a terrible team? I mean, I think he did that in the pit game and they lost yes. and he might, you know, he might, I, I wouldn't begrudge him at all saying, you know what I did. I did what I could. I want to see Devin Leary think- against this defense. That's what I want to see. Against this defense, yes. <laughs> NC State is so quietly good. They're so boring. Dave Dorn is so boring. And they're so good. 15th in EPA per play margin, 37 on offense, 15th on defense. The one thing that I don't love is that they're um, they're pretty – they're 96th in offensive success rate, so they are feast or famine. And this defense, you know, 84th in success rate, 108th in EPA. There's, there's ripe opportunity. But, again, there's so much volatility in – can you get that? Um, can you get that extra? Can you get that big play? And I think it was in the Wake Forest game they lost. Dave Doran decided to run the ball like seventy percent more <laughs> than he had in any other game all season. And so yeah. I just don't know if what he was trying to do there. But you know, if they if they just let Devin Leary be Devin Leary, um, I, I think they can win this convincingly and cover five and a half easy. Devin Leary is what people want Brock Purdy to be. That's my hot take for the end of this season. That's yes, I, I'm with you 100. percent I'm I'm taking NC State minus the six uh, along with you. I I look at I talked to you in the off season about Tim Beck in this offense and and what they are capable of doing and what they started last year. And you look at them and the numbers are not like they're not crazy, but you know they they are incredibly explosive. They're number 29 and 20 plus yard plays. North Carolina's defense is number 101. I mean, that's putrid. And on the other side, like, they are going to be able to get, the Wolfpack is going to be able to get pressure on Sam Howell or whoever is back there uh, because in uh, North Carolina, number 124 in offensive adjusted sack rate. Like, that is... Offensive line, man. Oof. <laughs> that is awful. On top of that, be prepared for a lot of flags in this game. There's going to be yellow all over this field. You got number 120 and number 114 in penalties per game which I was shocked by. I couldn't believe NC State was like that because I, I kind of look at them as being disciplined, uh, but it didn't really look like it so far this year. Uh, but I'll, I'll still take NC State. I think this game matters to them a lot. North Carolina looks like they are just dragging to the finish for whatever reason. So I'm... They really they really do, yeah. Little uh, little surprised um, at what has happened there. Dave Doran, only two losing seasons at North Carolina State, but yes. they haven't won a bowl since... When is that? Holy cow, five, six years? Oh, it's 17. been a long time. They haven't won a bowl since 2017. Yeah. They also so maybe, the, some, maybe maybe something to play for for them as well here at the end of the season too. The bowl contracts, uh, the way that they are set up, they are always playing. It feels like always playing against somebody that that should beat them, right? So I, I've looked at some of those matchups and thought, well, I mean, of course they lost that game. <laughs> I mean, it makes yeah, right. Sense. Like, what are you? What are you going to do? Yeah, you're putting ACC number four against SEC West number three. Like that's like, just yeah, it's, it's just not rude. fair. You know, it's just, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, yeah the, the bowl contracts, the way they're done, like, I kind of hate, like, I love bowl season and I hate bowl season because the contracts are done up in a way that does not benefit some of these teams that actually get to that point. And it's just such a, it's a weird way to end your season when you're going up against somebody that you know you're not going to beat, right? Like, I hate yeah. that. Yeah. So if NC State was getting to play, you know, some some AAC teams and whatnot, I'd it, send them to the Birmingham Bowl and, and we'll have a discussion, right? I'd feel yeah. good about that. You just, you just feel bad for teams like Florida, who last year had to walk out there and know that Oklahoma is just going to run through. Yeah, yes. 
Yes, it's like <laughs> why? Why is it okay to this? is it okay to kick Dan Mullen while he's down? I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.